Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we finally met up with the mystery caller in the Ocean View Hotel and it turned out to be Thomas Zane who said that we've basically been working together um, and you know need to continue and finish writing Return. Uh, so in order to kind of move the plot forward um, Alan basically is kind of writing like a murder mystery, uh, a murder basically, yeah, like a murder mystery thing gone wrong in uh, the Ocean View Hotel um, to kind of further progress the plot. And we're seeing echoes from Alex Casey and all that. So we've been going around the hotel getting, um, getting scenes and getting uh, plots, uh, plot points, changing how the how the world, you know, like words, using words of power to change, like, the, the world around us. So we were going to be going to the ballroom to use the two new uh, plots, plot points. Uh, we got the haunted one, and we got the, yeah, it's Tim Breaker. So, the ballroom, we have the haunted and the pre-show ritual. Let's do the pre-show ritual first. So the troop prepared their, for their performance, calm before the storm. Yeah. Wow, a lot changed. Like, this is what I mean about the light. Like, it's it's too bright when it doesn't need to be, so when I turn it off, it's, like, a little too dark. Yeah, so rehearsal, move to room 202. Rehearsal, move to room 202, yep. Yeah. Pre-show ritual and premiere. Remember, hit your marks, keep your masks on, and make it weird. Can't get on stage. Totally blocked off. Okay. Anything here? Oh, I forgot there was one here. Okay. Let's change it to Haunted. I feel like this is going to be, like, crazy shit. Dark Ritual in a Haunted Hotel to Summon the Star. Yes, it's the ritual to lead you on. The friends to meet him It's getting weird, all right. I recognize my writer's room on the stage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, there it is. Word of stuff. Let's try it out. Tourist map. Mark marks all nearby resources and points of interest on Wake's map. Expands Alan's inventory by one row. Adds one charge to Alan's flashlight. Um, this one, please. Oh, thank God. I mean, now that we've been really hurting for inventory space, but now we're, we're good. was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. 
The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him. And he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was? Shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. Oh, fuck me. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Well, I tried to ignite it. Fuck. This is what I'm saying, man. They don't have enough ammo now. Alright. Let's change this to uh, the devil. Oh my god. Fuck right off. The devil did what the devil does. This was dark, but the story had to be dark. Holy shit. Oh, thank God. In his room, he will hurt her. 
I got that one, right? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I did. Follow the, the footprints? Holy fuck. See what devil does in here. I changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. What does it say for the devil? The actors and the witnesses and the victims, one and the same. The massacre was real. This was not the ritual murder site I was looking for. This had just been an appetizer before the main course. Uh, and then we have the entrance hall and the final scene. Right. Okay, I think we're done up here. You know, because this has changed, I'm wondering if this changed too. No. Oh. Oh, there it is. Word of war. I knew there had to be a reason for that room. We haven't done this one before. Okay, full stop. Increases damage dealt by the last bullet in the revolver's chamber by 25%. Paint the town. Increases double barreled shotgun damage by 25% when hitting multiple enemies with one shot. Goes around. Restores 15% of max health when landing a direct hit with the flare gun. I mean, none of these are really that good. Full stop's probably the best one. Yeah. Wait, how did I get out of here? I have to change a scene back, don't I? Let's try rehearsal. Um, and we'll do pre-show ritual. And I just have to go the long way around.
Oh, never mind. I didn't need to. I just missed that door because I'm an idiot. First off, let's do... Uh, we'll do Haunted here, just so we can kind of see everything. And then we'll do the Devil. So the real cult was there. They had taken over the play. The scene here had changed. God. Alright, I gotta stop doing that. Because I'm wasting all my batteries. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Nothing new to grab that I saw anyway. Can this open up? It can't. Oh, this leads outside. Okay. before we do that, just in case. Yeah. Okay, let's do the devil. The actor of the devil had his own dressing room in the hotel. Oh, that'll be interesting. The devil's path up the staircase was draped in blood. a lot of ammo. Okay, there's something weird going on with the combat. Because, like, whenever you shine the light, sometimes whenever, like, you, you aim the left trigger to... Or you press the left trigger to aim. Sometimes whenever you try to do that, he doesn't do it. He doesn't try to aim. It's like he's stumbling or something. 
And I don't know exactly why. Crazy to think that Scratch did all this, you know? I wonder what kind of power Scratch has in the real world. I felt the presence of a new idea here. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception who got me a room number. Hmm. 666. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Mr. Jared Leto? So... Tom Zane's room was 665, wasn't it? Pretty sure this loops around. You know it's crazy. If I wasn't playing an Alan Wake game right now, I would legitimately think this was like a Silent Hill clone or something. All these locked rooms, the 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 wallpaper coming off, like the place in a state of decay, blood and shit everywhere. This scream Silent Hill, man. And look at that. There is no 665. It goes 663, 664, and then directly to 666. Where 667 would have, uh, 665 would have been, would have been at the end of the hall right there, because that's where 667 is. I just had a, a weird idea. Not a weird idea, but... What if there is no Thomas Zane? What if it's all Mr. Scratch? Like, originally in the first game, Thomas Zane is... Like, he, he's obviously there. Like, he, he obviously created the story. But what if here, that's why Thomas Zane looks like Alan Wake... Well, I, Thomas Zane looks like I'm awake because it's fucking Scratch. Let's see. Let's, let's, that's my guess. There is no Thomas Zane. Scratch had been here. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. 
I was about to have another killer idea. Ah, uh, killer. Okay, okay. Let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He had only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Oh shit. Run faster, dude. Dark presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. Fuck me, man. All right. Oh, okay. I'm back on the first floor. That just okay. The muse was the murder victim. The final scene took place in room 108. Helen Wake. So we have climax. After the gruesome deed, it was time to clean up the mess. Yeah, let's do the climax in the hallway. The plot changed the details of the world. Where's the black spot? That's weird. I feel like this is it. Okay, maybe we need to do the thing first. Maybe we do this afterwards. No, oh, whoops. Um, oh no, wait, I was right. So, rehearsal room. 
Sorry, not rehearsal room. Final scene. Let's do haunted first. The darkness Thinking emerged. The plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. Uh, darkness emerged, coming to focus. So we can't get in there. Okay. The devil. Devil led the way with darkness boiling in his skull. Sorry, I thought I heard footsteps. So we can't get in there. So I guess with the climax. The awful finale. The site of a ritualistic murder. the drowned lady. Uh-oh. Is she in the water? Is she gonna, like, pop up? Sounds like Poets of the Fall. Holy fuck. What does that say? Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean. The owl and the deer selected in motion? Oh, reflected in motion. In... Uh, reflected emotion is his room. He will hurt her. In her, she is caught. His story ends. Her story... I... Oh, let me just do this. Lost in the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected emotion. In his room, he will hurt her. In hers, he is caught. His story ends, her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Oh, I'm not going to like this, am I? This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. Somehow, it was important. Just one question. One quick question. Why is this murder so important when, like, we've seen bodies everywhere else in the fucking, uh, in the hotel? Albeit with, like, the deer masks and everything. But this is, like, the biggest deal. Come on, man. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not going to like this, am I? Another step. Somehow I was closer to home, closer than ever before. It's you again. 
again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake? I hope I'm still trapped. We have the clicker. We can feel the limits. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the Dark Presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write another story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that, You can write out... It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. I like using that song a lot. Okay, but we didn't get the record. What did the record have to do with any of us? Let's see if we can get this one now. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Dick asking too many freaking questions. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so will the paternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. Open and shut case. So this is... All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the attic. Ah. So this was obviously Mulligan and Thornton. That's the body that they threw into... The, uh into the well. But what does the record have to do with any of it? Uh, yeah, okay. And I think we'll call it there for this episode. Um, very cool segment. Um, I was actually, again, like really tense, more tense than I was on, than on the street. Um, these shadows, man, like they, they did a really good job with the shadows. They're annoying as fuck. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's, they're, they're pretty cool enemies. They're pretty cool concepts at, at the very least. Um, I really thought we were going to meet Scratch, uh, in a brief, a very brief encounter. Where he was gonna like boast like uh he, he was gonna like be boastful or whatever. But hey, not not seeing him yet, not meeting him is
just kind of feeding to the whole, um, oh, what's the word like, um, you know, like you imagine people to be like enemy, like villains to be darker than they are until you actually meet them kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like you have an idea of how they're supposed to be in your head until you actually meet them. Um, that's that to me is like more powerful. So really, really cool. I, I really liked it. Um, and yeah, I, in the next episode, we'll head over to parliament tower and see what surprises awaits us there. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.